So I finally got a chance to watch Maxine. It is currently out on digital or for rent if you want to check it out right now. This is Ty West's third movie in the X series. Um, it's supposed to be the finale, but I've been hearing talks about a fourth movie to me. And I'll give to that in a minute. Um, so this is Maxine. Um, this takes place in the 1980s, after, years after the events of X. As you all know, Maxine Minx was uh, one of the people that was the film crew that was working. She was, a, she was actually the actress that was working on a porn um, at this middle of nowhere. They stayed at this place, this farmhouse in the middle of nowhere. As you know, she's a sole survivor of Pearl and her husband in that movie X. And she's a soul survivor, and of course, years later, she actually became a big time, I guess you say, porn porn star in the film industry. And but you know, she wants to change things up. She wants to uh, do more mainstream things. She wants to kind of, I guess, distance her way from porn for for probably for, forever, and just do regular films. So she gets does an audition to do this horror movie, which of course is controversial behind it. Um, behind this whole film and stuff, even in Hollywood, period, there's a lot of controversy going behind it. Um, as you all know, that happened in the '80s. Um, is uh, the protesting and stuff like that, music and everything. Um, they got that that's surrounded in this film as well. Um, but of course, while she's working on that, her friends and people that she know are getting mysteriously butchered. Um, you know, this whole thing about in the '80s, it was this infamous serial killer named the Night Stalker, Richard Ramirez. But question is. Is it Richard Ramirez or is it someone else that are doing these murders, these brutal murders? So basically this movie is about, it's just a murder mystery. And it's basically what this movie is about surrounding Maxine and, and all whole, the, whole Hollywood and thing like, thing like, things like that. And that's basically what this film is about. And I got to tell you guys, this to me is definitely a good, good addition to the X series. I really, really enjoyed this film a lot. Mia Goff was still great. In this movie, she did some stuff in here. I'm like, dang, <laughs> wow. Uh, this movie can't get a little bloody. It's one scene in here where men just prepare yourself. It's a scene in the alley, and it will hurt you. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm not gonna say what it is, but when I watched it, I was like, oh my god, <laughs> that god. It's. I wish this was somebody. She did this person in the alley. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm not gonna spoil anything, but yikes. That's all I'm gonna say. It's gonna hurt you guys. Um, Mia Golf is still great. As, as Maxine Minx, of course, no surprise there. But it has some great casting. You got great cast, big name brand people in this movie. Um, we got Kevin Bacon, who was great. And I'm not going to say who he plays in the movie, but he did a freaking good job. Kevin Bacon is good anyway. Michelle Monaghan and Bobby uh, kind of Valley, I think you say his name. They play the detectives trying to solve these murders. Pretty good. Elizabeth DeBecky, as you all know, she plays the Golden People, the Sovereign from the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy films. She was good as well. And Giancarlo Esposito, he's always good in movies and TV shows anyway. So nothing different. I mean, nothing uh, surprising there. Um, he um, plays like her agent on his film and the parts he was in, which wasn't that many parts, many scenes as he, he was in, but he was good in it. Um, like I said, it's, very, it's kind of bloody. Some parts are really bloody. But I would say that the other thing is really good about this movie, I really, really did not see that twist coming. It had a really good twist. Not going to say what it is. You guys got to watch it for yourself. But I really enjoyed that third act and that third act reveal. Really good job with that one. Like the ending as well. That's what I'm going to get to about them talking about doing a fourth movie. I don't know why Ty West can't just keep it a trilogy because I don't know what else direction you can go from there after the end of that movie but to me if my idea what they could do maybe continue the aftermath of pearl i wouldn't mind going back to pearl and see you know what happened in between movies between pearl and x years later i mean did she get away with the murders i'm assuming she did but what happened after that but yeah um really good into the trilogy maybe for now i really enjoyed this film a lot guys like i said the performances were great still mia golf was did a darn good job and i love the 80s setting the 80s setting was of course great and movie as well the music everything about this film i really 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 enjoyed so the verdict what i would give this movie as a score i would give it an 8.5 out of 10 like i said the performers are great and i love the 80s setting and i really enjoyed that twist i did not expect that twist whatsoever so because i didn't actually show what they were going what direction they were going for at the very end, but the twist was really done well. So 8.5 for me out of 10.